Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together and if you guys don't know me, I am Darshan and I have secured a rank of 2233 engineering in my KCD 2022 and then uh, currently I am studying in SJC Mysuru pursuing my computer science engineering first year. So uh, with just 20 to 25 days left for the upcoming KCD 2023 exam, I just thought of making a video regarding what did I do during this period in order to tackle the chemistry part which has been a headache for many people out there. Yes guys, uh, I have been receiving many messages regarding this chemistry part. So how do we deal with it? What are the chapters which we have to deal during this period? So this is where uh, it all boils down to guys. So whatever your preparation is, what you do in this last 20 to 25 days becomes the part of an issue or else this becomes a part wherein which determines your rank. So in chemistry part, the thing is, the thing which you have to know is that very few chapters hold a lot of weightage. And if you deal these chapters correctly in these last 20 to 25 days, you will be able to tackle the majority portion of the chemistry and remaining in the remaining portion, even if you go through uh, the uh, chapters in a nutshell, you can just sail through the portion. So in that way, I just managed to get 50 out of 60 marks in my KCD 2022 in the chemistry part guys. So with that experience, I thought of making a video in which I'll discuss what chapters did I focus on and how is the previous year's uh, chapter wise weightage in this chemistry part. And I'd like to suggest you to watch this video till the end guys because in the middle I'll be discussing some important uh, things or important topics which you have to deal which you may miss and that will that may cost you a lot of ranks guys. Yes guys, you, so with that note, let's start this video. Now on your screen is the detailed analysis or the detailed uh, chapter wise weightage of all the chapters that come under this chemistry part. So that uh, now the reason for which I have posted it here is for you guys to analyze it and create or uh, come to a conclusion of what chapters you have to deal first and what chapters you have to deal next. In this uh, very less time remaining, I know you guys won't be having ample time in order to cover all the chapters. So here is the weightage for you guys. So you can just go through it. So see how, what uh, weightage the respective chapters are holding. Based on the difficulty level, you can just analyze and create a list wherein you, you put uh, high weightage chapters in one side and finish them off first and then come to low weightage chapters and then here also in high weightage chapters when you uh, see the high weightage chapters one of the chapters which is catching my attention is polymers and biomolecules yes guys these are very small chapters and highly theoretical which can be completed in around half an hour or one hour for each so this becomes really important because when you see through it, around in 2018 and in 2019, five questions have been uh, asked from the same chapters, polymers and biomolecules. So I know even you guys may realize the importance of it. So these chapters are very catchy, very easy to uh, grab and you can just finish them off in around one hour so that you can just give those five marks in your bunch. Yeah, next when I go through this weightage, another chapter which catches my attention is the general organic chemistry guys so many people will be uh, a bit sluggish when it comes to organic chemistry so for you people you can just go through the weightage this general organic chemistry uh, contains just one or two marks in the recent years so you can just uh, keep it for the end so what i am telling you is i am not telling you to just leave chapters away so uh, with this very left very less time left for this upcoming kct 2023 exam i'm just telling you which chapters you can deal first and which chapters you can just keep them aside so that you can deal it in the end when I mean in the last five to six days you can just deal them off and then you can just go through chapters like states of matter which have which has a relatively high weightage and then it when it comes to inorganic part this SNP block they, the, the huge weightage for this SNP block in 2018 makes those chapters very important guys so the seven questions have been asked in 2018 and even in 2017, seven questions have been asked from this SNP block. So even it is theoretical, some people may find inorganic boring because of a lot of stuff, stuff to be memorized. But still, when you uh, go deep into the concepts, when you uh, start understanding things, you will be able to relate to them and you will be able to sail through them. So these are theoretical chapters which may, which will help you increase your marks and in the same way increase your rank to by thousands together, guys. Because the rank uh, which you secure will be a really important asset by during the counseling process you may uh, be in a position to miss your dream college by just one mark yes guys it happened with one of my friends so that is why i am stressing this out yeah then when we go through the organic part of other chapters so yeah hydrocarbons and alkyl halides so these uh, haloalkanes and halorines what you call so this also has a decent weightage when it comes to organic chemistry part 
and then you can deal with amines which are nitrogen based compounds so that also has a decent weightage yeah these things you can just figure out when you see this uh, chapter wise weightage itself guys i don't need to tell much about it so what i expect from you is to create an analyzed chart of what chapters you have to deal first and just then allocate specific times for them so uh, in uh, based on the priority order we just start finishing off chapters so that you will be in a confident position in order to tackle the chemistry part of the exam which will be quite easy guys so trust me chemistry part will be the easiest part in the three parts which you are going to attend if you are an engineering student you will be attending pcm in that chemistry will be the easiest and will be the scoring part because it doesn't require a lot of time if you know the concepts well i myself uh, have got a 50 marks in this chemistry part as i said earlier and that is the highest of all those things all the three subjects so this is where i uh, thought i pushed my rank by thousands together guys by from these chemistry marks so when you figure out what chapters have high weightage then you are almost 90 percent done then the 10 percent remaining thing is your hard work your focus and uh, when you ask me well okay we have done a priority list then what we have to proceed then how we have to proceed then one thing which i, which I would uh, suggest you strongly is to take a chapter finish it off uh, theory wise and then apply those in some previous year problems because now you don't have time in order to complete big big modules and all because there are only hardly 20 days left and in this time i think it will be okay if you uh, go through the previous year questions of around five years from now on so from 2017 to 2022 if you just solve all the previous year questions many of them are mostly repeated guys so uh, hear this out i trust me many questions will be repeated even if the questions are not report repeated the idea which the question requires the profile of the question will be remaining the same so uh, it becomes really important to solve these previous year questions. I used to solve a lot of previous year questions in this last remain last 30 days and all. I just prescribed myself to these previous year questions which helped me a lot. So I hope all of you will take this into consideration and uh, create a priority list for yourselves today and start working on it because this chemistry as I said earlier is a scoring part is the easiest part so why what are you waiting for just create a priority list for yourselves and start working on it today itself definitely feel all of you who are watching this video are capable of scoring even more than 50 out of those, those 60 questions which you will get in the chemistry part and this will definitely help you to get a decent rank in kct 2023 that will help you secure a seat in your dream college so that moment when you uh, get a seat when you get a seat in your dream college, that moment is surreal, guys. Uh, if you need the same analysis or the same chapter-wise weightage for the other two remaining other two parts, okay, physics and maths, just put it on the comment section so that you and I will be able to come up through those videos so that that will help you out. And then, if you uh, want any uh, reviews of the books which you have to refer in this last 20 to 25 days, uh, please put it on the comment section again, guys, so that I'll be looking through them and I'll be uh, sharing the books which I used during this period, which helped me get a good rank in KCG 2022. If you like this video, then immediately click on the like button, guys, so that I'll get some motivation to upload the same kind of videos in the coming future. And then again, if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos, then feel free to put it on the comment section so that even I'll be able to understand what you guys require and I'll be able to come up with those kind of videos so that it will help you a lot. Yeah, this was it from my end, guys. This is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. So thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.